A pleasant day everyone! I am Carissa Macy Campo from Grade 12 Hume Space and together with my co-researchers Given Dane S. Reyes and Christian Ante Chan, we are going to discuss about our quantitative research entitled The Impact of Lack of Gadgets Towards the Academic Performance of Senior High Students of Jose Abad Santos High School. The SARS-CoV-2 commonly referred to as COVID-19 pandemic, has brought unprecedented challenges economically, politically, and socially across the entire nation. More than just a health crisis, the pandemic brought various problems and difficulties with the educational system. Due to the suddenness, fitfulness, and volatility of COVID-19, the education system was in an exceedingly rush of handling the changing learning landscape. New learning modality, which is online learning, was introduced to the learners that requires the use of gadgets. Technology and the use of gadgets became more significant than ever. We came up with a study that explores the effect of not having enough devices to use in today's learning landscape. We chose this research because it would be beneficial for everyone, particularly to learners and teachers, to know about the effect of insufficient gadgets towards students' academic performance. This study will give way to more research and solutions to the growing problem of lack of gadgets and its effect on the academic performance nowadays. The purpose of this study is to know the impact of lack of gadgets towards the academic performance of the senior high school students of Jose Abad Santos High School and to know if there is a significant relationship between lack of gadgets and academic performance of the students. This study is sought to answer the following questions. What are the gadgets used by the selected students of Jose Abad Santos High School in attending online classes? What are the problems faced by the students who lack gadgets? How the selected students perform their classes? And lastly, is there a significant impact of the insufficient gadgets towards the academic performance of the senior high school students of Jose Abad Santos High School? Now, let's proceed to the presentation of the data that we gathered to answer each specific statement of the problem. Research question number one is about the gadgets used by the selected participants in attending online classes. Figure 1 shows the list of gadgets used by the respondents. It indicates that 25 or 83.3 percent of respondents use smartphones, 5 or 16.7 percent use tablets, 3 or 10 percent use desktop, and 2 or 6.7 percent of respondents use laptops when attending online classes. Figure 1 shows that the majority of the respondents use smartphones as their medium of listening to their classes. This also denotes that the laptop is the least used device of the respondents. Question number two is about the problems that the students who lack gadgets face. As shown in Figure 2, 60% of the respondents submit their activities late. 50% lose an opportunity to create better activities. 43.3% have a lack of understanding of the lessons. And 30% have frequent absences from synchronous class because they lack gadgets to use for this. Figure 2 signifies that the main problem faced by the students who lack gadgets are late submission of activities. This is followed by losing an opportunity to create better activities, a lack of understanding of the lessons, and frequent absences from synchronous class. It clearly shows that having a limited number of gadgets to use in, in this learning modality 
results in students facing these aforementioned problems that can affect their academic performance. To answer the statement of the problem number 3, Likert scale was used with its corresponding verbal interpretation to interpret the responses of all the respondents by computing the weighted mean. Table 1 states that 43.3% of the students or 13 students got a general weighted average from ranging from 90 to 100 and performed outstandingly in their academics, while 26.7% of the students or 8 students excelled very satisfactory and another 26.7% who performed satisfactory. The remaining 3.3% that equates to 1 students got to have an average ranging for 75 to 79 and excelled fairly satisfactory. This explicitly shows that the respondents performed fairly satisfactory for the whole school year 2020 to 2021. This is mainly due to the problems students have encountered because of having limited gadgets to use when attending online classes and doing activities. For the research question number 4, the general weighted average of students for first and second semester last school year were gathered to interpret their academic performance. The respondents performed satisfactory for the first semester of last school year with a mean score of 2.1. This was dropped to 1.8 making their performance fairly satisfactory. They were able to perform fairly satisfactorily for the whole school year, year 2020-2021. This explicitly shows that the, there is a significant impact of lack of gadgets to respondents' academic performance. Having this fairly satisfactory scale equates to respondents having bad academic performance for this grades ranges to 75 to 79. Since the pandemic began, distance learning has been implemented as an alternative learning modality of face-to-face -face classes. In this learning method, gadgets have been significant more than ever to every teacher and most especially learners. The researchers noticed that various problems were encountered by the students in this learning modality related to having not enough gadgets to use, the reason why this study was chosen to conduct. Upon conducting the study, the researchers concluded, based on the answers of the respondents, that the most used gadgets of the respondents are smartphones. It was followed by tablets, desktop computers, and laptops respectively. Due to the lack of gadgets to use in attending online classes and doing activities, learners have encountered problems mainly late submission of activities. The respondents also face problems particularly losing an opportunity to create better activities, a lack of understanding of the lessons, and frequent absences from synchronous class. The respondents performed satisfactory for the first semester of last school year with a mean score of 2.1. This was dropped to 1.8, making their performance fairly satisfactory. They were able to perform fairly satisfactory for the whole school year 2020 to 2021. This explicitly shows that there is a significant impact of lack of gadgets to respondents' academic performance. Upon conducting the study, the researchers came up with these following recommendations. First, qualitative research may be also used to further explain the discussed issues thoroughly. Second, since the sample size of the study was limited, the researchers recommend the future researchers to gather more participants or conduct surveys 
to other grade levels to have an understanding of the impact of lack of gadgets to their academic performance. Next, for the statement of the problem, future researchers may include the issues they want to investigate to help strengthen the data of the study. And lastly, for the next researchers who will be investigating the impact of lack of gadgets to the academic performance of students in this new learning modality, the researchers recommend to compare those who have enough gadgets to use and those who have limited number of gadgets to better evaluate the impact of gadgets to the academic performance of the students participating in the study. Again, this is Carissa Macy Campo from Grade 12 Yung Space, together with my co-researchers, Given Dane S. Reyes and Christian Andre Chan.